you know, Nancy. And I said, you're kidding. What was her mood when she made this phone call to you? She was excited. She was happy that it had taken place, but scared still because we didn't know if they'd gotten away with it. Two days later, Jeff Galuli flew to Detroit. Today, Tanya's now embittered ex-husband tells a current affair even more than he told the FBI about what he claims happened once they were behind closed doors. She came up to me and she shook my hand and she said, because, you know, we're, when we're partners, we always do that when we accomplish something. And, and she says, we, we did it. And uh, I you know, was still worried and she... She said, now, you know, be quiet, hold your voice down because the rooms, they can hear what you're saying. And she went into the bathroom and she turned the faucets on it. Jeff also claims that Tanya wasn't entirely happy with the results of the attack. Tanya said, they, she says, you know, well, they didn't exactly do what they were supposed to do. And she said, well, she may be able to skate the Olympics. And according to Jeff, in the days following the attack, Tanya was furious that Nancy was once again stealing the spotlight that Tanya felt she deserved. She was really jealous of the fact that Nancy was still getting the media coverage, even though she was now the national champion. She wasn't getting her deserved attention. She was still being passed up. But nothing sticks in the mind of Jeff Galuli more than his chance encounter with Nancy Kerrigan just days after the attack. That's probably when it hit me there that, you know, when I saw Nancy walking down that hall, limping a little bit, that... I was responsible for that. How'd that make you feel, Jeff? Yeah, it made me feel pretty small. Made me feel pretty shallow. Kind of, uh, made me feel pretty dirty. We'll hear more from Galuli as the week continues. Everyone in Lillehammer is scrambling to get tickets to the Kerrigan Harding show. John Johnson is on the scene where black market dealers are driving ticket prices sky high. John? Maureen, in my hand, I am holding the two hottest tickets in town. I am told these are the last two tickets to the women's figure skating final. There are no more available. Unfortunately, they're not mine. They're Christy Yamaguchi's. But if tickets like this were available, they'd rank